a major thing that is on my mind. I came from a very poor family and I went to work at Goldman and you see a lot of creative people, they made a lot of money. So income inequality is something and I think many people care about now. Like if you see a chart of like what the bottom 50% earn, it's going down. And what the top 1% earn, it's going up. And there's sort of two schools of thoughts that I sort of read and study. Like one is, let's say, AOC. She says there should be no billionaires in the U.S. as long as there are poor families that struggle. And another one is, let's say, like Paul Graham. He's the co-founder of Y Combinator. And he talks about how income inequality is a natural part of capitalism. And it's a sign that the process is working. The only way to reduce it will be to hurt the actual rich people. You don't actually help the poor people. So like if I'm in a race with Usain Bolt and we do a hundred meter dash and the gap is too much, the only way to sort of reduce that gap is to hold Usain Bolt back because you can't make me run faster. So if you have a <laughs> business person and you have Elon Musk, over time, you can only hold Elon Musk back. So I would just like to know, how do you think of income inequality? Is it a feature uh, or a bug? Well, um, it is a consequence of the capitalist system as we've constructed it. Gregory, the thing that concerns me is that it's a power law. It's not a bell curve, right? right? So, you know, you, you, you look at me and you think, whoa, that guy's really rich. And I, I look at a, a whole bunch of my friends and like they're, they're much richer. And then they look at Jeff Bezos and they feel like paupers, right? No, well, that's a power law at work. It's insanity, right? And, 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 and it, it also interacts with the basic feature of human nature, which is our entire nervous system is designed to notice differences, not absolute levels, right? And, and so we're only noticing the people who are richer than us and are poorer than us, right? And, and, and then we're feeling good when we're richer than other people, it's terrible to say, and, and bad when we're, we're poor, even if in every way we're, we're doing fine, right? We just compare it. Um, this comes from AA. It's a, it's a great uh, adage from AA, compare and despair. They go together. Hmm. Now, at the same time, it isn't an inevitable feature of capitalism that the inequality be as extreme as it's getting. There have been long periods in American history where there was always inequality, but it wasn't this kind of inequality, right? And then you could also ask important questions about the distribution of income. And so maybe inequality is different if it isn't quite so extreme, and maybe it's differently perceived if there is some some baseline and it's asymmetric right and just thinking pragmatically what i would say to anyone who's a fan of pure capitalism let, let me first say i i am not in aoc's camp at all right i don't, didn't vote for her i wouldn't vote for her i hear her and she's just not, not saying things, anything that makes any sense at all to me. Right. At the same time, I am a big proponent of a universal basic income. Right. I, my personal view is that if you're just being pragmatic and looking at, at, at an inequality and not thinking about um, some abstract concept of justice, you don't want the inequality to be so extreme that it leads to a revolution. So you ought to be prepared to pay to decrease that probability. This is what I say to you know friends who you might call oligarchs, right? Why, why it would make sense for everybody to have some baseline income and why we should all pay for it. So I just keep coming back to an old idea, um, John Rawls, The Theory of Justice. I don't know if you've encountered it, but it's a famous image that I think is very beautiful. And he calls it the veil of ignorance. A just society is defined in the following way. Imagine that we are not born into the world yet, and the world that we're about to be born into is hidden from us by a veil of ignorance. 
we know the structures of the world, the opportunities, the way income and capital are generated and distributed, the roles that exist in the world. What we don't know is what role we're going to be thrown into when we're born into it, right? But we get to design the world, knowing that we could be thrown in in any of those roles. What kind of world would you design? And I would say that the world we have is very, very, very far away from that. So what are we gonna do about it?